given. So today we will see input and output devices. It's a part of module one. So in this, we are going to see input devices like keyboard, mouse, light pen, scanner, touch screen. And in output devices, we are going to see display units, printers, plotters, and speakers. So first we'll see what is the need for input and output devices. So the output and input devices provides means for user and computer interaction. So if you want to interact with the computer, you need either an input or a output devices. So here output devices are of two types, hard copy devices and non hard copy devices. So firstly, we'll see what exactly is a input device. So input devices are used to enter the data or instruction. So if I want to enter any data, I need a input device. So input devices are keyboard, mouse, trackball, joystick, some touch panels and scanner. So first we'll see what exactly is a keyboard. So keyboard is most commonly used, most effective input devices through which we can type the data or instruction and we can insert the data into a computer. So it is similar to your typewriter. So it uses the same keypad of typewriter. So it has some set of keys like character keys, alphabet keys, you can say. Then it has something called as numeric keys, function keys and some special keys. So character keys, alphabet keys, you can say A to Z alphabets you have and numeric keys a numbering you have from 0 to 9 function keys used for special functions like f1 to f12 functions we have then some special fun keys we have like shift caps lock control alt and everything to perform some special tasks the next is mouse so mouse is also an input device so mouse stands for mechanically operated user serial engine so it is a pointing device normally we use to move the cursor on a screen and even for selection of the particular data in a computer so the different types of mouse that are available or that have been used are mechanical mouse opto mechanical mouse and optical mouse next is joystick so joystick is also an input device. It's also called as a pointing device. So it is used for gaming purpose. The handle is used to move up, down, left or right in the screen. So normally useful in gaming purpose. And it can be connected through USB or some game boards. So that can be connected to a computer. So the next is some touch screen panels. Okay. So touch screens you can see in mobiles nowadays or even the laptops or some desktops also has got this touch screen so through touch screen you can enter the data so if you touch a particular data so that data is taken as a input so it uses sensors that detect touch actions that is possible to issue the instruction to the computer so it has got internally a sensors which will sense what data we have selected and that is given to a computer internally next something called as light pen so again it is a pointing device used for making drawing so it uses a pen normally to locate a particular data onto a computer so here if the background color or intensity a light pen can be used as a locator so if it is background is like color you can go for this light pen Similarly, we have one more input type called as scan. So normally used for scan the document. Okay. So whatever the document you keep on this particular device, it scans everything. So it, it takes something like a Xerox. So it takes document everything in a digital format and that has been stored in a computer. So what are the advantages of using scanner? So it eliminates duplication of data. So it reduces human efforts and improves accuracy and performance. So it is useful for large volume of data. Okay. Yeah, there are some other input devices which uses optical media. 
like we have optical mark reader okay then we have optical character recognition then we have magnetic ink character recognition and something called as barcode reader so these are all the some of the input devices that comes under this category so you can just see which all the see barcode reader you can see in the picture omr machine you can see normally used uh, evaluating the papers and all okay similarly the smart cards you can see similarly the camera you can say digital camera is also uh, some of the important input devices now coming to the output devices we have monitor printer plotter and speaker so first we'll go for monitor or display devices so it is a foremost output unit that we used in a computer okay there are different types of displays nowadays you have crts lcds and led monitors okay so resolution also will be of different types okay so typical screens will be of somewhat of 640 into 480 dots okay so the quality depends on the resolution so higher the resolution you have the higher the quality okay so there is a one more term related to this monitor something called as a refresh rate okay so refresh rate is associated with monitors which refers to the number of time an image is redrawn on the monitor okay so that is a refresh rate of a monitor okay so nowadays we can see most of the monitors will be of leds okay so crt is somewhat over or that is not being used much so coming to the second type of output devices that is printer so printer is a device is used to print a data in terms of a document or in terms of paper so a data is printed on a paper so in printer we have two different types one is impact printer and another is non impact printer so what exactly is impact so impact is where there is some real mechanism or there are some impact will be on a paper so there will be some way of mechanism through which it puts its impression on the paper but whereas non impact so the, the paper is not interacting with the machine directly so that is called as non impact okay so we'll see the different types of impact printers that is dot matrix printer and line printers whereas non impact printers are laser inkjet thermal photo and plotter also so plotter also can be a type of printer itself okay so we'll just have a difference what exactly are the features of print impact and non impact so in impact we can see it uses force by applying hammer pins to strike the paper then slow speed in character per second and prints on most paper types multiple copies may be printed at once so non impact so print head does not make contact with the paper higher speed in characters per second print quality is better than impact printers okay yeah so there are some indications in terms of uh, printers like it uses a terms called as ppm and cps okay so ppm for pages per minute characters per second cps printer resolution is expressed in dots per inches next we will go for plotter so what exactly is a plotter so plotter is you can say somewhat extension of printer so wherein if you want to print a large document or some drawings or some quality picture on a large sheet so then we can go for plotter plotter prints architectural engineering and mechanical high quality drawing on large sheets so plotter draws lines on paper using a pen so it uses a pen or pencil or any other drawing equipment required for a printing purpose so it moves across the paper so this pen is moved across to the 
paper whenever it is printed. So as you can see, the picture has been given, how the plotter will look like and how it is going to print the drawings. The next is speakers. So speakers normally used to listen the music or audio from a computer. So these are the output devices through which you can listen to music. So speakers requires device driver software to be installed in the computer for proper functioning. Okay. Even it requires something called a sound card that is built in in the motherboard itself. So speakers are used to provide sound or audio output. Speakers are used in computers commonly to listen to music. That finishes the session. Thank you.